All right, what's up, everybody? How you doing? We got bonus infamy for the Taken and Gambit. Act three starts. Act three has begun. Oh, act three of the episodes. That's pretty fancy. Let's get to it. New items in Eververse. We're going to check all that out in a moment. This week in Bungie. Artifact preview for Act 3. Bungie introduces the artifact perks for Act 3, with particular focus on auto rifles and subclasses. The new perks aim to create synergy across multiple playstyles, especially for players who prefer rapid fire in weapons and elemental abilities. The adjustments allow for enhanced ability uptime, faster reloads, and increased damage output when using specific weapons in alignment with subclass elements. This combination will offer more flexibility in builds and encourage experimenting with different loadouts as players progress through the season. New Legendary Weapons for Act 3 Spiliogest A powerful kinetic weapon designed for PvE encounters. This weapon focuses on precision, offering perks that boost accuracy and damage on critical hits, making it ideal for boss fights and high-level activities. Chronophage A versatile void weapon with time manipulation effects. It features perks that slow down or debilitate enemies when you land consecutive hits, providing both crowd control and damage. Martyr's Retribution Reprised This return of grenade launcher retains its waveframe functionality. Creating explosive fire patterns on the ground, it's tailored for clearing groups of enemies and remains a top choice in both PvE and PvP scenarios due to its wide area coverage and high burst damage. Coming soon in Episode 2, Exotic Class Item Attunement. Bungie plans to introduce a new system called Exotic Class Item Attunement, which will allow players to further customize their class-specific exotics. This feature is designed to enhance build diversity and personalization. The attunement system will enable players to modify their class items to align with specific abilities, stats, and playstyles. The attunements focus on strengthening synergies between subclasses, armor perks, and playstyles, offering more meaningful choices in how exotics are tailored. This new system also includes a progression-based mechanism where players earn attunements by engaging in specific activities or challenges. Over time, players can unlock more powerful and specialized traits that enhance the effectiveness of their class items, making them more aligned with different combat roles whether it's boost and resilience, mobility, or ability regeneration. And here is the player support report and things they're looking to fix and that they are aware of. Today's sponsor is BlazingBoost.com. They are one of the best Play With Pro service providers on the market. They provide a completely safe Play With Pro services for games like Destiny 2, Lost Ark, and Apex Legends. 100% safe Sherpa boosting services in Destiny 2 get the best prices and complete any activity without account sharing. Check out their weekly discount section. I'm sure you'd have something that you'd love to do with a pro, completely safe in Sherpa. If you have any doubts, just check out their Trustpilot page with over 35,000 five-star reviews. By the way, here's my discount code BGYM5. It helps me out a lot directly if you buy from the website using my discount code and you'll save an extra 5%. Hello, testicle. Need something new? All right, we have the Sculpt with Skills set. Adventurous Pack Accessories. Strange Goods set and Dungeon Delver Collection. In the Sculpted with Skill set, we got these puppies here, not too bad looking. The Adventurer's Pack Accessories, Owlbear Chariot. That's pretty funny. All right, Strange Goods set. That's a little Zer ghost. Yeah, Zer's, Zer's business here, you know him. You know that jerk. And of course, Dungeon Delver Collection, which is not new, it's been around for a little bit. Return of the Gun Slinger Bundle. The C6 Shell for Ghost who Hero Worship Cade 6. That is cool. Yeah, because it's Cade, that's cool. Colonel's Lament. So uh, I guess with a shader on this thing, it'll be pretty cool. It's nice and spiky. But um, yeah, Cade. It's Cade, so uh, you gotta like it. And a Red Veteran. You're definitely gonna need a shader for this puppy. But uh, it's got the little, the little spades on there. That's cool. That's cool. It's easy, Matt. Cartwheel kick. Alright. The cage shell by itself. You get recommended items, synth weave templates. Get your free bright dust. Bio loom. Boreal char. Dreaming shimmer. Omega mechanos gloves. 
chef's kiss. This will give you some glimmer. This will give you an upgrade module in the bright dust category. You pass a moat. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Just browsing. You fail. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. That's I'm gonna be seeing that a lot. The photovoltaic shell, I believe that's how you say it. All right, that's that's cool. Little solar panels. You got it. The firebreak rescuer. All right, not too bad. Oh, it's got a lot, it's got a lot of fluid there. It's got some shooting in the front, kind of like me on dates. The Star Racer 95. Fenchurch, there's All a lot right. Of Let's see what's going on here. So the Trust, the Doubt Weapon Ornament. That's nice looking. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Good design. Good for you. The old side eye projection. Dream and Shimmer. Heartbreaking entrance. Reflection effects. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, that one. Nice. Sinking feeling. Uh, that's a weird blue. That's cool. Heat shielded. I like this one. That's nice looking. That's nice. Grayscale undergrowth. That's what that's what the grandparents get. You stop shaving after a while and you, you get that grayscale undergrowth. And bruised blush. So yeah, if you uh, combine the last two, you get a bruised undergrowth. Thank you, testicles. See you next Tuesday. And of course, make sure you save up. I'm kidding. Uh, turn those things in. All right, so go on all three characters and get these four bounties done. You'll get 12 enhancement cards a day. In Focus the Coden, we have Snorri, Typhoon, Agma, Galu, Amit, Avendale, Sununa, Nazreddin, Hand in Hand, Battle Scar, and Harsh Language. The featured weapons are the number, Dire Promise, looks good, Farewell, For Our Future, and Temptations Hooker. And here's Adam One's bounties. And pause if you want to read them specifically. With armor, you got a plus 12 when you masterwork. Then plus 10 for if you add mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, or strength. Vitrified chronology. Not bad. New Pacific Rush. The worn version. And Dead Orbit Camo. Nice. The Crucible maps are Showdown, Competitive Control, Rift, Sparrow Control, and Rumble. The Nightfall modifiers, I'm going to go over all three Nightfall modifiers. You can pause if you want to read specifically, but you should be able to see them and read super quick. And again, here's Expert. So, you know, pause if you need, but I imagine you guys are really quick readers. You can see this stuff and you just, you know what's going on. Is that Brad Pitt? I think I might have read that wrong. Yeah, that Brad Pitt's in the Nightfall this week and uh, you got to fight him. So uh, good luck with that. Let me know down below how you do fighting Brad Pitt. All right, this one should be fun. Let's see how far we can make it uh, before we get shot and uh, killed. Let's see, I might be able to make it to the entrance here. We'll find out. But yes, do, if you've made it this far, please do comment Harry Gumballs down below. And uh, I'll know that you watched to this point of the video, which is uh, pretty cool. I think that might be killing me there. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, if I can get past this. I'll be dead. Let's see. I want to cheat with a grenade. I should have. That would have kept me alive. But yeah, that's pretty far. So uh, yeah, you can, you can make it that far, maybe further. If you're going a little faster. But yes, do carry, do carry, carry stuff around with you and throw it at people whenever you get the chance. But yes, do comment Harry Gumballs if you're at this point. And I'll know who makes it to the end of the videos. Because you guys are awesome for sticking around this long. So yeah, that's the mess this week. And uh, hopefully you're excited about the exotic class item stuff. If you got a good one from Zero this weekend, do let me know as well. And uh, I did get a pretty decent one, so I'll show you quick because you made it to the end of the video. And uh, then we'll we'll go. So yeah, I did a little bit of farming, and I got this one, which is kind of cool. So let me know down below if you got anything really good from Zer, any really good class items. And it's cool that they're going to upgrade them pretty soon. So let's see what we got here. We got this one here and this one here. So I think I'll be using this one. It's pretty nice. Well, thank you everybody for joining in, and please do check out another video. Check out crap from my band, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Later, Guardians. You're awesome.